bro, eat those meatballs. They're going to keep you big and strong. You're such a healthy little heifer. Always wanted to call someone a little heifer. Little heifer. You're not a someone, but you're my someone. Good girl. Wholesome roots. Standing here a while just to take it all in. Radio's playing our song. Then you stood there smiling at me as so many times before. I never Today, we build our cow shelter. And it's not going to cost us a dime. So, first step is to get our materials over here and get them set out in a rough diagram of where we're gonna do our shelter. So, we're gonna do two pallets per wall, three walls. We're gonna use the wooden posts for the corners. And that's pretty much it. We're gonna put a, for the top, we're gonna use a piece of cattle panel and a tarp. We don't have enough to do the whole roof, but we can at least get half a roof on. So that should uh, work for now until we are able to get the rest of the supply. Okay, so what else do we need besides these pallets and fence posts? Now we need screws, a screw gun, hammer, fence staples, post hole diggers, uh, cattle panel. A couple of T-posts for reinforcement. Couple, possibly some T-posts for reinforcement. All right. Yeah. Let's get it together. Righteous. All right. Now we got to get that other corner post put in the ground. All right. Let's do it. So we've got that corner post is in the ground. Two pallets across the back are going to be screwed into each other, and this corner post that the pallets will attach to as well. That baby. I thought she had stopped nursing, but I guess not. We might have to force this weaning. Don't want to, but it is in mama's best interest. While it's not pretty, it's practical. And that's really all we need. Something that will help protect them from the elements when they need it. And just another example of how you can use what you have to expand your homestead. You don't have to have a lot of money or a lot of resources. You just have to really be diligent about searching out materials that might be free, whether they're on the side of the road or listed in a marketplace or Craigslist ad as a free item. You just have to keep looking and keep gathering materials until you have enough to work with so that you too can build an ugly pallet shelter for your cows.
Don't eat daddy's phone. <laughs> what are you guys doing? He's eating your phone. He's eating my phone. He loves the kitty. Aww. The kitty loves him. We were just supervising you building this amazing new shelter. The goats approve, but they're checking it out, sort of, not really. All right, cool. <laughs> but I think we're at a stopping point. We just need to put the tarp on and we gotta go buy that. So nice. I, think, I think it looks pretty good though. Let's I go. think it's gonna work nicely. Let's go check it out. What do you girls think? Looking good? Nice. So we got four corner posts, two pallets on each side, and cattle panel roof. We just gotta throw a tarp over that. Ideally we would have the full roof done, but we only have one cattle panel, so that's what we're gonna use. And it will provide some rain shelter at least. You know, it's funny because most of the people I talk to about cows and cow shelters and stuff, they're like, oh, cows don't need shelter. My cows like the shelter, I think. They keep going in their lean-to that I built over there, and it doesn't even have any pallet walls. I mean, besides the back side of it that it shares with the goat shelter. So I think they're going to like it. I think they're going to like it, too. And it makes me feel better. And I love that it's a direct line to my kitchen window. So I can look out here when it is bad weather and see that they're getting protection from the rain and stuff. So it'll make me feel better at least. Good. And we all like to make mommy feel better, right? <laughs> <laughs> we don't want mommy worrying about her babies. Awesome, great job. Yeah, it's been a good, a good amount of work we got done today, so. I feel satisfied.